Hey everyone, KB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to root your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This is an updated video since Sprint pushed out an EL29 update and my last video did not does not work on EL29 since the uh, root exploit was plugged by Samsung. So anyways, this is for EL29, so go to settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and as you can see, build number right here, gingerbread EL29. So if it says something other than EL29, then you can follow my late my last video. But if it says EL29, that would be the latest. I'm assuming you guys are all going to be on that now. Um, this will be your video to follow. Anyways, I am completely stock, not rooted, no super user in my app drawer. I have no root access whatsoever. But now you are going to need to first, I'll recommend backing everything up, backing everything you need up just to be safe, uh, contacts, apps, etc. There are, try Mac, my backup pro from the market. Um, but yeah, anyways, go ahead and power off your device once everything's backed up and you, you can click on the link in the description of the video then. It takes you to this website. As you can see, um, basically what it's gonna do is install the, the whole EL29 build itself, but it will be a rooted build, so it'll be um, completely rooted. But anyways, before I start, I do wanna give a big shout out and thanks to SF Hub. Big, big thanks to him. He's been doing a lot of good things for the Epic 4G Touch community. So big shout out to him. Very uh, smart guy. Anyways, go ahead and scroll down. We're going to need to download a few things. First of all, if you don't have the drivers installed, they will be right here, number one. As you can see, install the drivers. Just click on those and install them if you don't have them already on your PC. And number two, you're actually going to need... You have a couple options. You have a full restore option which uh, will preserve your data or a reset option which will reset your device. So it's up to you if you want to start out fresh, rooted, or try and, uh, or, and, or preserve your data. So I downloaded the preserve data one, so data is not going to be lost. Uh, if you d don't care about your data and you want to start fresh, just download this one. So I downloaded this one. It's going to be an .exe file, as you can see right there. Once downloaded or while downloading, you're going to need to download and install 7-Zip if you don't have it. I would assume WinRAR would work. I have 7-Zip. so. But anyways, once it's done uh, downloading and installing, you have 7-Zip or WinRAR and your driver's installed. And you've got this uh, the .exe file downloaded. You're ready to go. It'll look like this, actually. Um, just go ahead and click on it. And 7-Zip should open it on up and just hit Run. So go ahead and run, and basically what it's, it's a self-extracting archive, so you're going to need to find somewhere to extract it to. Um, actually, what I can have you guys do is go ahead and just take cancel and then go back to your desktop. So once on your desktop, just right-click on it and hit new, and then folder. So just create a new folder on your desktop just to make everything easier and just say EL29 root. So there you have it, EL29 root. Uh, once that's there, go back to your downloads folder. So let me go back to my downloads folder. And as you can see, you can double click on that uh, that exe file again, and then it's hit run. And now what you can do is actually press the dot, dot, dot there, and then go to your desktop. So click on desktop, and then find that EL29 root folder, select it, and hit OK. So, and then hit extract. So now it's gonna extract all the files you need into that one folder, which is very nice, very nice of SF Hub to put this together for us since you won't have to extract them separately. But go ahead and let it extract. As you can see, it'll take maybe 20, 30 seconds to extract. All right, as it's done extracting, go ahead and go to that EL29 root folder, double click on it. It'll open up uh, another folder inside. It says Odin. OC, Odin one click, and double click on that. And then right here, you've got uh, this file. Basically, it's the Odin one click. It uh, will put everything in the right spot, and you should be able to just run it. Just double click on it, it'll open up Odin. As you can see, it's got the Odin one click. What's awesome about it is you don't have to worry about putting files anywhere in Odin. Uh, it does it all for you. But anyways, go back to your Epic 4G Touch now that you have that opened up. And we're going to need to put it into Odin mode or download mode. To do so, press and hold volume down and power button at the same time. Press and hold both of those. Keep it held down until a screen pops up. You can go ahead and let go once it pops up right here. It says warning. Installing custom OS can cause problems. Just hit volume up to continue. I also want to make a note that this uh, method will not 
uh, increase your, cust your uh, custom binary download count um, as well as it will not trigger the exc yellow exclamation point. If you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it because it doesn't trigger either. But once you're in download mode or Odin mode, go ahead and plug in your Epic 4G Touch to your PC. Once plugged in on your PC, it'll either start installing drivers if you just installed your drivers, or once done installing drivers, it will pop up a yellow box. It'll say COM and then a number. Don't, uh, it doesn't matter what the number is. It'll be different for everyone, but just make sure there's a yellow box and it says COM and then a number. But once there, the Odin recognizes your device and we can go ahead and just hit start now. So go ahead and hit start. It'll uh, just check, make sure everything is recognized, and then it'll start it up. Um, it'll have a green progress bar up here. A progress bar will pop up on your device as well. As you can see, I've got a blue progress bar there. You'll see a green progress bar over there. It will take a little while. My guess is maybe three and a half minutes around there. It, it could take longer. If you are having problems, the main reason people have issues with Odin is the cable. I find BlackBerry cables work the best. Um, Samsung cables are pretty bad. So if you are having issues and you're using a Samsung cable, that could be the main reason. You can try reinstalling drivers. You can try using different USB ports as well. You can try um, taking out the SD card if you have one in. So try all those steps first. Uh, and if you have more problems, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment on the video. But anyways, as I said, we've got a pro green progress bar there, a blue progress bar on your phone. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll be back. I'll let it run. A little while so just be patient with the uh, with the uh, process and I'll be back okay it's just finishing up it's uh, flashing the modem to your device and as you can see the progress bar is almost full same with the phone and once done it should actually automatically reboot your device so it should say pass and then automatically reboot your device as I said if you run into issues follow those steps I covered earlier um, let's go ahead and let this reboot now Okay, as you can see, it said reset and then pass. All threads completed, and it should automatically reboot your device, as I said. So now your phone is done. It should be completely rooted. Looks like it's taking you into the stock Android recovery. Let me go ahead and zoom out, and let's go down here. Uh, looks like it went into stock Android recovery. You should be able to unplug your device. So when uh, stock Android recovery, it looks like it rebooted your phone again. If it stays in stock Android recovery, just when it highlights uh, reboot system, just press the home button to select it or and volume up and down buttons to navigate. So in case that happens to you, but it should just automatically reboot your device. As you can see, it is. Um, and as I said, I use the restore system where it doesn't lose any data. I put a icon the video icon on my home screen right there to make sure it stayed there and it did as you can see some all my uh, data is preserved so but i just had you guys do a backup just in case um now that you are rooted let's go ahead and go to our app drawer and show that you're rooted should take you to uh, i mean it should show a super user application in my app drawer and it does as you can see up at the top super user you do not you now do have super user permissions you do not have clockwork mod though so you cannot install roms yet i do have a video showing you how to install clockwork mod um, i will link to that in the description of the video just make sure you select the uh, el29 option as opposed to the ek021 i show in the video but anyways you are now fully rooted on your epic 4g touch i do have a video showing you how to get uh, free wireless wi-fi tethering now that you're rooted, I actually recommend watching some of my QB King 77's corner videos. I will um, just check those out. Just Google QB King 77 corner. I do have a playlist of those videos as well. But anyways, all other links will be in the description of the video below. So definitely check those out. Um, in QB King 77's corner, you can want a fly grip. Definitely something you're going to want to check out. But anyways, other than that, that should be it. Uh, you are now fully rooted. Uh, you have super user permissions and you are still on stock EL29, but if you do want to install Clockwork Mod, I'll link to a video in the description of the video. But that would be it. Um, if you do have any questions at all, any problems, feel free to ask, leave a comment on the video. I hope this video helps you out. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Uh, links up above to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thank you for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.